Well, my name is Darren Appleton and I'm an interventional cardiologist here at Virginia Cardiovascular Specialists. Today I'm going to be talking about transcatheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR uh, and with a focus on uh, a patient that we recently treated here uh, called Mr. Huber uh, who, who uh, underwent this procedure and had a really excellent result. A little over five years ago when my general practitioner noticed uh, a heart murmur. So he had a uh, uh, MRI done and then recommended that I see a cardiologist. And I finally well, recommended here, which is your cardiovascular specialist. Uh, and I met with Dr. Appleton and he diagnosed aortic stenosis. It was moderate then and after about three or four years, it was severe. He would really uh, continue to report, report in that he was doing very well and having uh, no symptoms. And so we were just keeping close eye on him for quite some time until a point where he really said, yeah, I don't feel as good anymore and uh, starting to really slow down notably as the valve uh, problem was getting worse. I'm a bicyclist. Uh, I ride a bicycle a lot, about several thousand miles a year. And starting last year, about 12 months ago or less, more than that, uh, I realized I was riding with my same group of uh, friends and on the same bicycle, same roads, and I, I was falling behind. I couldn't keep up with them, particularly on hills. And so we um, opted then to discuss what would be the potential therapy options to, uh, to fix his uh, disease valve. For a long time, the uh, only way to replace the aortic valve when it became severely diseased was with a big open heart surgery. People decided that it would be good to have something to offer those people who were either inoperable because of their age and risk factors um, or, or just high risk. And so um, some very innovative uh, people came up with the idea of doing a le much less invasive procedure or transcatheter aortic valve replacement. I was concerned about the progression of my, my disease and I was also very concerned about open heart surgery. I was very fearful of that. I didn't want to have to spend two weeks in the hospital. Uh, so I was you know, very happy to find out that the TAVR, uh, I was a candidate for the TAVR uh, procedure. By taking the valve leaflets that are sewn inside of a metal stent frame, uh, which can then be crimped down in, on a very small delivery catheter, which can be inserted through an artery in the leg. That valve uh, is then implanted inside of the diseased aortic valve, usually by using a balloon to expand the valve. And that then basically completes the valve replacement without having to open up the chest. And so making it a much less invasive procedure. It always varies a little bit from patient to patient, depending on uh, different things that might come up in the course of the procedure or recovery, but the average is about two nights in hospital. Uh, and there are some patients who are doing so well uh, that they might even go home the next day, as I think was the case with Mr. Huber. About two weeks after after the uh, TAVR valve was put in, I was able to do, um, well, I got back on the bicycle and eventually working up and done, you know, 30 or 40 miles at a time is no problem for me now. Being alive and being active and feeling great, feeling well is, uh, you know, tremendous.